Alexander Kaiser. Thank you. I'm from Sao Paulo, the most cosmopolitan city in Brazil. Okay? Uh, we have so much social problems here. And it's even worse for the youth, youngster. Okay? I gotta know about the graffiti culture in a neighborhood that I was living when I was young. And there were social projects there where I feel you could have like graffiti class, uh, DJ class, and hip hop class in general. For me, the hip hop, the real mean about hip hop is the come over the problems through the art. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to explain to people when I have graffiti uh, workshops. The US Brazil Joint Action Plan tries to facilitate, like I said, a community to community dialogue. And in its initial stages, culture was a very important part. It remains a part, I think, that runs throughout the action plan. So racial equality and the African experience through art is just the perfect language, right, to have that dialogue. Then I put two things together, the hip hop culture and then Africa culture together and create these characters in what I'm doing. And I'm always working in social projects and favelas in Brazil. There is a commonality of experience in Brazil and in Baltimore in different cities. And what Alexandre has been able to do, I think, by sharing his art is share that common history and experience through hip hop, through graffiti, through the experience of young people who live at the margins. In his particular case, because I think there is such a familiarity on just the scope of which is going on in areas of Brazil, as to areas like Baltimore, even some parts of like Berry Farms here in Southeast DC or some of these parts, that there is this similarity. And to hear you know, him talk about his work, his growth, what he wants the public to see, yeah. And I think it's good to see that they can be seen and heard. And, and I think that that's an important uh, perspective. And what they say about Africa is only about the slavery time. It was nothing before and nothing after. This year, 2015, launches the International Decade for People of African Descent. And for us, this is a perfect time to talk about the African diaspora, the contributions made by people of African descent. And we have a common history. We have a common history of colonialism. We have a common history of the transatlantic slave trade. We have a common history of indigenous peoples living here uh, before colonialism. And a common history of migration and enslavement in the Americas. And so we are looking at ways to share our experiences, not looking at slavery as the point of departure, but looking at what's happening now, what's happening today. I think this is a clear illustration of what we should be doing more of. For example, this young man is from Brazil. Obviously, there's a large segment of the African population that is in Brazil. Many people don't know that, that uh, one of the largest segments of descendants of Africa actually live in Brazil. We need to use always this spray can straight, right? Never use it like this. But always straight. I'm gonna show you why. If you want to make a line and you don't keep the spray can straight, I'm gonna see what's happening. You know? So letting our students know not only about the importance of art and seeing this young man's contributions, but also learning about social studies, learning about the African diaspora, not just African Americans or Africans who are on the continent, but Africans from around the world. I think this, again, is a perfect illustration of that. It, it connects the arts with all of the other um, important issues pertaining to Africans and pertaining to world history, right? like four Thank you.